welcome back to Zagami Beauty. I'm Krisha. So exciting time of year. It always is. Fall rolls around, holiday season's upon us, and Sephora has their annual, annual, semi-annual, I don't know, but it's their fall winter VIB sale. Now this sale does start this Friday, October 30th for the Rouge. Different tiers have different dates. So Rouge starts on October 30th, and then we go into VIBs, which is November 3rd, and then Insiders, November 5th, all ending November 9th. I'm gonna put all of the details down below. I don't wanna to waste too much time on the nitty gritty because I really wanna get into my top 10 picks for this year's Sephora sale. Okay, so I wanna preface by saying I don't do all of my beauty shopping at Sephora. I actually like to do a lot of my shopping at Shoppers Drug Mart. Being here in Canada, they have such an amazing point system. I also like to buy stuff from the manufacturers or brands directly lately because they usually have really good deals. For example, Charlotte Tilbury won't be on my recommendations list. Not that I don't love that brand because I really, really do, but I get all of my Charlotte Tilbury for the most part from her website directly. So that being said, the picks that I'm gonna show you guys today are quite specific to Sephora. There are certain brands, certain products and lines that I can't get anywhere else. And that's what I'm gonna focus on. So my top 10 picks of things that are pretty much, you know, only found quite easily at Sephora. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna go with, okay, let's just get right into this one. This is going to be the backstage line of Dior, which is quite exclusive to Sephora. As far as I know, I haven't seen it anywhere else. And it's their Face Glow Palette. This is in the new shade that came out this fall in rose gold, absolutely beautiful. Has so many finishes, metallic, shimmer, just stunning and you honestly don't need any other highlighter palette I know we all have a ton but I just find this one so so intense um, if you go with the more glittery shades and then if you go with more of the sheer shade it just looks like completely I don't know what the word is literally like a dumpling like your just cheek just looks so so rounded and dewy with this particular product. It did come out in originally one shade, then they added a little bit more of a warm tone palette. This fall, they've added this rose gold palette, a straight up quite gold palette, and then more of a coppery bronze palette. So something for every skin tone, which is so lovely. The packaging isn't crazy, crazy luxurious, but it's still chic and compact, and I quite like it, especially with the embossing on it. So, so cute, such a great product, and I think it's a really great price point considering you get four different shades versus just like one big highlighter. Love this so, so much. Next product, not really skincare. I was gonna include a skincare product, but the one I was gonna include actually is not to be found. Um, it was a Pink Cloud by Herbivore, and I don't know what's going on with that cream. It's not on the Sephora website. I was hearing murmurs. It won't be available till spring of 21. So I, I, yeah, I can't recommend that because I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. But I'm gonna go into something, not really skincare, but something to keep your makeup in place. So yeah, I'm not skincare related at all. But it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray that just came out not too long ago in the Glow version. I love this. It has the same sort of non-scented scent as the original one. It's not really a scent, there's nothing in there, but it just has its own kind of smell. Same idea if you've used the original. But this just kind of gives your skin a more lifelike appearance still has a slight set feeling not tight necessarily but it just feels literally like your makeup is set in place but the finish on this is so beautiful it just gives it almost like a really really skin like finish a slight glow to it nothing greasy but just a little bit more realistic than the original one same amount of hold like maybe a hairline less hold but like we're talking barely such a good product one of the best if not the best makeup setting sprays out there. Next product, I don't have this year's version, but it's the Hourglass Ambient Palette. They've essentially been having these palettes come out every single fall kind of holiday season. This I believe was last year's version. This year's version is very similar. You also get dim light as well as diffused light. This year's highlighter I think is a little bit more pow, which is really nice. Um, you still get two blushes this year and then you get a bronzer as well. I think this year's palette is a little bit better than last year's, but I didn't want to repurchase another one. I think it's, it's similar enough. These are just beautiful. It gives you a really good taste of what Hourglass is about. 
and it's really nice. Your brush will fit quite well into these. They do look quite small, but it's decent. And then that top row, you can essentially put your brush through all colors just to give a nice finishing powder effect at the end. These are so beautiful. They're luxurious. They're a clean brand. They are at this point, I believe, fully vegan and cruelty free and it's just a lovely, lovely, classy brand and the powders are second to none. They're just so, so enhancing on the skin, not heavy at all, just a beautiful palette if you haven't purchased one in the past. I would totally look into it this year. This year's version is really, really quite pretty. Okay, sticking with Hourglass for one more product, we may as well. It's their Duo Ended Brush. It's synthetic, it picks up their powders beautifully. This end here is fantastic for the blushes and it's really good for the highlight. This side here is amazing for powder, finishing powder, bronzer, and it's still decent. You can still get into it with this side as well. I love a duo-ended brush. If you don't because of storage purposes, then this is not for you because it does have to be stored lying down. I just love this brush so, so much. And it's not too cheap, obviously, because it is hourglass. So this time of year is a really good time to invest in it, but... Yeah, I, I can't tell you. I love the weight on it too because it is duo ended. It just has a nice weight and I'm really into duo ended brushes and this one is just top notch. And I do find with the Hourglass products, their powder products, they do pick up better with synthetic brushes. I have a combination of both natural hair and synthetic in my collection and I've just found that yeah, synthetic brushes just pick up those really, really fine powders that are baked essentially, just so much better. And they place them on the skin a little bit better. They don't tend to sit on top of the skin when you use a synthetic brush. It actually feels like it melts almost into the skin. I think those hand in hand just work so, so beautifully. Okay, moving along, let's go into Natasha Denona, another brand that I stick to purchasing at Sephora, mainly because we don't have a division in Canada for her brand or online store. I end up paying duties if I purchase from her directly, so I get all my Natasha Denona from Sephora. I recommend one of her eyeshadows. I think if I was going to choose one, if you don't have one in your collection yet, or if you're thinking of adding another one into your collection this sale, I would go with the Glam Palette. So either the full-size Glam Palette or the Mini, just depending on your budget, depending on what you want in your collection in terms of size, or if you don't need more eyeshadows but kind of want to dibble and dabble into one of her palettes. I'd go with either or, they're both beautiful. The larger glam palette just came out this fall and it is stunning. I'm gonna link any videos that pertain to reviews of these products down below. So if you wanna get more information on how I got on with these products, then definitely go down below after this video and, and watch the ones that you're interested in in a little bit more detail. This palette is beautiful. It is truly a neutral eyeshadow lover's dream. There is not one dud shade in this entire palette. It is just so easy to work with. She even named the shades based on where to place them. So you have like your inner corner, you have your crease shades, your transition shades, your center eyelid shades. You don't have to follow that, of course, but it's there if you need to, which makes it extra easy if you're in a rush and you honestly cannot go wrong. It has liner shades, it has your brow bone shades. Like it is just so beautifully curated, one of her most beautifully curated palettes. And because this is a smaller pan size palettes, the price point is a little bit more reasonable than one of her, you know, bigger panned palettes. This is just, it is such a good palette, you guys, and no better time than to get it during the sale. If you want something a little bit smaller from her, I would recommend the Mini Glam palette. It is also equally beautiful, equally easy to use, and the shimmers in here are just stunning. So either or, depending on your budget or what you want in your collection, but if you're gonna go with an eyeshadow palette, I would really suggest one of those too. Sticking with Natasha Denona, we're gonna go into my favorite blush of all time, and I like to use cream blush first and then I like to top it with powder blush. I'll link a video of my technique down below. It's a foolproof way to wear cream blush that lasts all day. And my favorite powder blush to use as the topper to set the cream is the Natasha Denona Duo Glow Blush. Comes in Rayo as well as one more of a corally color. I forget the name now. But either way, it comes in two shades. This one, like I said, is in Rayo. 
very pink, very sheeny. The finish on here is almost like a powder to cream type of finish. It is so flattering on the skin. You almost don't need a highlighter on top, but of course I like to add highlighter on top. It is just so, so stunning and flattering on the skin. I can't get enough of these blushes and I hope one day she releases more colors because so far we have a pink and a coral, which really covers most of your bases, but this formula is just second to none. And especially when using it over top of a cream blush, it's, it's perfection. Okay, moving along, moving along, because I don't want this video to be <laughs> too, too long, but it's just so fun talking about makeup and stuff. So I missed a Dior product, and I wanted to recommend the Dior Lip Glows. Again, this is not a product that's just exclusive to Sephora, but they do have some shades that are getting harder and harder to find elsewhere. So a lot of the Dior Addict Lip Glow to the Max, these are the swirly shades. So for example, this is the one in Coral, which is the one I recommend. This one probably not as common. I feel like the coral wasn't gravitated towards because it looks really orange in the tube. But on the lips, it swatches quite almost like corally but more pinky. And this one is very underrated. I love this one. Same with hollow purple, the purple swirl one, very underrated as well. And again, those shades are getting harder and harder to find at like shoppers or the bay or other retailers that um, that Dior is at. So I would really recommend getting one of these lip glows. They're beautiful. And the Max ones are just on another level of pigmentation and glow. So beautiful. Okay, Marc Jacobs. I love this brand. And again, quite difficult to find elsewhere. This mascara is just something else. Like, I don't know. How much can I love it? I love the actual shape of it. I love brush because it's quite narrow so it's really easy to to get it onto your lashes without getting everything dirty it layers well upon itself this tube is lasting me forever like I think I purchased this in the spring and it's still going strong like hygiene aside I'm not going to throw it out it doesn't smell it still goes on really beautifully so I it's just the mascara that keeps giving it's really really unbelievable how good this mascara is application is easy you get some really decent drama with this you get amazing wear time no flaking no smudging I don't know you guys this is the best mascara I've ever used in my life thus far and I would really really recommend trying this mascara out especially if you're gonna get the discount on it so good, and I will link the video me reviewing this as well. So Anastasia Beverly Hills, not too many releases from this brand really in the last six months that I can think of. This is one of their winners in their brow line, just recently released and it's become to me one of my top brow products that I use in my routine. It is their brow pen, sort of their version of a microblading pen. I have it in medium brown, such a beautiful neutral shade. And that's what I appreciate with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Their tones for their brow products are very true to life and you really can't go wrong with, with that line. You'll find pretty much what works for you and that's what I love about it. The tones are really, really good. The Benefit line did come out with that three prong microblading pen as well. I reviewed it and compared it to this one. In the video, I think I liked the Benefit one better. I feel like it kind of gave obviously a little bit more of a structured look, but the shade or tone is not really up my alley. The blonde was quite light and almost too warm toned. I'm going to still try the one in the medium brown if it's ever back in stock. I think it actually is, so maybe I'll purchase it during the sale because I really want to like it, but the tones on it are very limited and very warm. I still prefer this pen. It has a little ball on the inside which you can shake to kind of reactivate the formula. It is such a good pen. Price point is really good and I can't say enough good things about about that pen. Last product is a fragrance and I just reviewed this one on my channel last week on the weekend so I'll link that review video down below. This is the YSL Libra Intense and it is so beautiful you guys. The original came out last fall, very lavender based, a little bit musky at the end. This one here is a little bit more of an intense version of it so you're gonna get the beginning a little bit more freshness and sweetness lavender, lavender again in the middle kind of coming out even more and then you're going to dry down with some warm tonka amber. It is just so stunning. Again, I will leave my full review down below in the description box. You can click on it and watch that if you're interested in it, but this is just so beautiful for fall, winter, especially because of the warmth and I have gotten 
I don't know how many compliments. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on it. And I'm not usually one to care about that, but if this is a fragrance that you wanna love yourself and have everyone else around you sort of like be completely just taken by it, then this is the one for you. The bottle too, oh my gosh, so beautiful. With the monogram there, geometric lid, beautiful rope detailing around the nozzle. I just can't get over how beautiful this product is. It's just A to Z top-notch product. Okay guys, that's it. My top 10 recommendations for this year's Sephora VIB sale. I want to know though what you guys recommend. So leave me a comment down below of one product at least that you guys recommend we should get at this year's sale. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Also, I'm going to leave some links to videos with more details on some of these products where I may have reviewed them specifically or demoed them. So if you're more interested in like a more detailed video on these products, then take a peek down below. Other than that, happy shopping you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!